I am going to take the linkage assembly off. Um, that's what it looks like there. I'm just going to take that cotter pen out right there. Drop that out so I can paint in there more easily. That's what it looks like. Just hanging there. So there are all the linkage parts right there. Ah, a couple other, but they're cleaned up. There are the other linkage parts. These are the new bushings I got to help prevent the uh, wearing away of the linkage. And the cotter pen. And there's the rest of the linkage. Get, get a new bushing for here because that's gotten flattened out a little bit. But 50 years, get that from a CG Ford be good to go. This is the linkage for the clutch. You can see that hole's been filled in a little bit and it'll become oblong. And my uh, friend of mine, my mom's neighbor, was able to repair that for me. And also he fabricated over here. This had worn a groove in it. Oh, let me show you where that was. Right along the bottom here, it had worn a groove um, from the linkage spinning around it for 50 years. So he's able to fill all that in. There been, had been a groove on that. And also, on this here, that had a groove along the lower edge, right in there where it was riding up inside the cab on the linkage there. And right down here, he filled that in too. That had also worn a groove. I should have taken before and after pictures. But uh, he fixed that, and also he didn't like the original linkage here. It was a little bit sloppy, so he filled that in, and it had been stamped larger. But he said, I don't like it, so he filled that in. So this should fit nicely together, and uh, clean it up a little bit, paint it. and uh... I've got my clutch linkage soaking in some vinegar and water. My friend uh, repaired it. I just want to show you how... You can see just soaking it. I've scrubbed it a few times, but you can see how that's all free of rust. It looked just like this before. And you can see where it's, the soaking level is. So I think that's pretty fantastic. Uh, I've brought it out a few times, scrubbed it with a red Scotch Brite and a uh, wire brush. And that's what it looks like. So I'm going to rinse this off now that it's clean, rinse that off, and then I'll dip the other side. Yes, sir. You can see this still rotates. And that is where the repair was made, right in there. Because it had worn a little groove right where that weld is right there. And again, that's where you can see where this has been soaked in vinegar and water and cleaned. It's about 50 minutes. It's overnight, but you can do it in a couple hours. Um, it's been in there maybe two days. So this I'm going to put next. You can see where some it had been cleaned here. Got some vinegar and water on it, and so it rusted. But if you get it all off, it puts a little protective coating on it, less like the. Uh, phosphoric acid and so that's the linkage right there looking pretty good and this is the, the hole that was made smaller it had been uh, worn into an oblong pattern there you go isn't that beautiful it's all cleaned up nice and shiny look at that Okay, so that's uh, ready to be painted, part of the linkage, and ready to go. Okay, this is the clutch linkage. I've got a cotter pin here, a thin washer there, thin washer on the other side, and I just discovered that the bushing is flattened out. I should have purchased one sooner. That bushing there goes around that portion there, which fits in there, so it rotates, but it's 
gotten flattened. Bummer. $2 piece, $4 shipping. Hmm.